ECW Tag Team Champions Kevin Sullivan, the Tasmaniac, and their partner Johnny Hotbody will face Bad Company, Paul Diamond, Pat Tanaka, and Tommy Dreamer. And as you can tell by the music, the champions with Woman and Johnny Hotbody are on their way to the ring. Here come the ECW Tag Team Champions, the Tasmaniac and Kevin Sullivan with their manager Woman and their six-man partner Johnny Hotbody. We'll be right back with great six-man tag team action. Tommy Dreamer and Bad Company are on their way to the ring, but first let's go live to Terry Funk with his final comment regarding tonight's heavyweight championship matchup. You know, wrestling's been my life. And it was my father's life. It was my brother's life. And it's the most important thing to me in the world. And I've wrestled for a lot of years. I'm not a young man like these two fellas are right here next to me. I'm what you call a seasoned veteran. Now, I'm not trying to claim to be a Nolan Ryan or anybody like that to my sport. But I have a love for it right here in my heart. And ECW is my last stand. Because most of all is I'm an individual and I'm an athlete. I always have been. And I believe that I am as tough of a competitor as anybody in the world today. And I believe the toughest competition is right here in the ECW. And why is the competition so tough? Because you're not dealing with a corporate structure up here. You're not dealing with a WWF with a bunch of individuals and clones running around. What you're dealing with is you're dealing with a bunch of individuals and individual personalities. And tonight I am going up against as tough of an individual as there is in the sport today. I'm talking about Shane Douglas. I've got a lot of respect for him because believe me, Shane has proved himself as a wrestler, as a person that'll walk into the ring and nobody is going to tell him what to do. And I am the same way. So whenever I go into that match tonight with that ECW championship on the line, it's on the line. And these two fellas right here know that who walks out of that ring is going to have to be the best athlete are the better athlete. And that, I hope, will be me. Terry Funk, who I believe is one of the, the most crazed individuals ever in the history of this sports team, is very sedate this evening. He's taking a, a whole new approach to this match, perhaps. Well, I, tell, I don't feel bad for Funk. He's not shaking in the least. That may be his point. He may be attempting to roll the franchise into a full sense of security. Shane Douglas will no doubt come to the ring on fire. Terry Funk taking a new approach as Paul Diamond and Johnny Hotbody exchange wrestling holds. Hotbody going right back. Right back to, I should say, to those, those broad street bullying tactics, dropping elbows, reversed by the Irish. Johnny Hotbody comes in with the shoulder tackle off the ropes, far side, and Paul Diamond scoops and backbreaker on Johnny Hotbody. Hotbody's in trouble early. Bad Company and Tommy Dreamer have things going their way. The action fast and serious. Hotbody is hard to corner. Spinny kick! Spinny kick by Paul Diamond! What momentum by Diamond! He actually went over the top rope himself, and Hotbody is hard! Diamond now picking up Hotbody, tagging Tommy Dreamer. Dreamer going to work on the arm of Johnny Hotbody. Hotbody with the cross the ring, and Dreamer made the just in a minute. I've got the power slam of two, two count only, only two. So close to seeing a quick end to this matchup. As now, the Sensei cuts it off in the other half of Bad Company is tagging, and he immediately goes to work on that arm of Johnny Hotbody. The first tag made by the opposition as in comes the Mariah from Kevin Sullivan. He's stuck! And as Sullivan withstands the onslaught of Pat Tanaka, we're going to have to go to a commercial! Oh my! 
back with six-man tag team action and Sullivan trying to regroup. As Woman obviously upset, Pat Tanaka, wily veteran that he is, found the weak spot on uh, Kevin Sullivan, shall we say. But Sullivan now backing Tanaka into the corner and really laying him in there. As Tanaka now looking worse for wear at the hands of Kevin. No, Tanaka! Tanaka turns things around and now unloading on Kevin Sullivan. What resiliency by Tanaka. Irish whip in. Sullivan hits hard, but he's still smirking at Tanaka. Does this man feel pain? Tanaka now with Sullivan up against the rope. Whips him across the ring, sets his head. Back body drop on Kevin Sullivan. Sullivan's in pain. He's backing off now. He's retreating into his corner, it seems. I don't believe for a moment that Sullivan's that hurt. He's trying to draw Pat Tanaka into that corner. He would just love to have Pat Tanaka. If Pat Tanaka's not buying it, in comes Paul Diamond. At the Tasmaniac who enters the ring on all fours. Oh, he's definitely unbalanced. As now the Tasmaniac to square off with Paul Diamond. Collar elbow tie-up doesn't last too long as the Tasmaniac shows that incredible power. What a specimen he is. Stands about 5 foot 9, 5 10, but weighs in excess of 250 pounds. Shoulder blocked by Paul Diamond does not budge the Tasmaniac, who has that very low center of gravity. Paul Diamond's going to try it again. Diamond underneath. Drop kick down floor the Tasmaniac. Well, if you can't outpower him, outsmart him. That shouldn't take too much effort. Tasmaniac checking for all his teeth, or should I say fangs. And again, the two athletes block up side headlock by the Tasmaniac. Boy, that's not a hold you want to be in with this guy. Look at the size of his arm. He can easily crush your skull like a coconut. Paul Diamond looking for a way out. Shoots off the Tasmaniac. Tasmaniac just runs through Paul Diamond. Tasmaniac up the rope. Up and over, far side. Here he comes. Leaf frog by Paul Diamond. Tasmaniac comes back. Foot. Tasmaniac kicks it. But no, he caught both feet. But no, he stays up. The Tasmaniac is up. Lead down now. Spinning kick by Paul Diamond. And a cover. One, two, and oh my. Two count only as we were just a few inches away from seeing the end of this matchup. And then comes young Tommy Dreamer to take over on the Tasmaniac, who I believe, yes, will be going up and over. Self suplex by Tommy Dreamer. Dreamer off the rope and drops the elbow. Power elbow by Dreamer. Cover. One, two. Two only the Tasmaniac able to find the back door. And lays the shoulder into Tommy Dreamer. Now the Tasmaniac headbutting Dreamer. Dreamer now seeing stars depart the party. He's on the outside and meeting the guardrail here in the ECW Arena. And the foot of the Tasmaniac comes into play. Here comes Diamond to help his partner. The referee's advising Diamond. Oh no. Don't turn your back. That man can bust it open. And then comes Johnny Hot. I didn't see a tag. Was there a tag? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. And now Johnny Hotbody with the abdominal stretch on Tommy Dreamer. A handful of tights, Rex 11. Dreamer breaks it. Hip block takes Johnny Hotbody over. And now Dreamer smashing the face of Hotbody into the turnbuckle. Back in comes Paul Diamond. Double Irish whip. Here comes Hotbody. Double elbows. That drop the Broad Street bully. Diamond now with hot body. Oh, he's in the wrong corner. Paul Diamond valiantly trying to fight out of that corner. But he's in trouble. He's wide open for the Tasmaniac. That was smart wrestling. Johnny hot body held Paul Diamond, allowing the Tasmaniac to go to work. And now Kevin Sullivan catching Paul Diamond, who was whipped in. Headbutt by the Tasmaniac. And Paul Diamond is on rubbery legs. Now he's on his back. And Kevin Sullivan just walls him in the back of the neck. In comes Pat Tanaka, obviously upset, but that will only again. And there goes Diamond up and over the top rope. Pat Tanaka's got to stay out of the ring. Sure, I understand he's hot, but you're just allowing this, this kind of assault when the referee's back and turn Pat, get out of the ring. For your own team's sake, just get out of the ring. Sullivan now with Paul Diamond and a headbutt of his own. Sullivan off the rope, smashing the face of Paul Diamond into the canvas. And a quick tag into the Tasmaniac. These two work well, of course. That's why they are the current ECW Tag Team Champions. 
Whip in on Paul Diamond. Whoa. Back body drop Diamond up in the lights of the ECW arena and in comes Johnny Hotbody. What a cohesive team they are making. Quick tag going three of these men. It's almost as if they have worked together before, but it's not the case. Two count. Johnny Hotbody shoved off by Diamond. Hotbody, the tenacious wrestler from South Philadelphia, now taking over on Paul Diamond with the front face block. That may be a choke. Johnny Hotbody shielding the referee's view with his own body. That is smart wrestling, although slightly immoral and not very sportsmanlike. And again, this is Johnny Hotbody. Hotbody trying to wear down the larger Paul Diamond. Tag back into Kevin Sullivan. And Sullivan now going to work on Paul Diamond. Diamond whips in once again. Sullivan ducks his head. Does that flip? Stop, will he go over? Yes, yes. Cover one, two, two count only. Oh, that was close, Paul Diamond. On instinct alone, going for the sunset flip. Didn't have a head button. Didn't have enough to take Sullivan over. Back in comes a quick, quick tag by this team of Sullivan, the Tasmanian, and Johnny Hotbody. I think we're seeing a new team here, a new kinship. Here. Perhaps Hotbody will be managed by women. Who knows? And now Diamond, Diamond with the close line. Boy, did he get elevation on that one. He had real hang time. And the Tasmanian is flat on his back, staring at the arena life. Diamond's got to make the tag. Both men struggling against to their feet. Who will make the tag first? Come on, Paul. You're so close. You're so close. Yes. In comes the Sensei. The Sensei and the Tasmaniac. The Sensei on Kevin Sullivan. On Hot Buddy. On the Tasmaniac. That Tanaka has opened up. On the Tag Team Champion. No, Tanaka gets caught up. And the Tasmaniac goes for it. Belly to belly. Belly to belly. Tanaka goes for the ride. Cover one. Two, two. He pulled him up. Tasmania, that's a mistake, that's a mistake! Pass it on Pat If you can beat the man, beat him! And then comes Johnny Hotbody, the newest member of this team. Hotbody now setting up Pat Tanaka. Tanaka struggling valiantly. Johnny Hotbody just buckling him up there as these fans are loving it here in the ECW arena. And now, Hotbody's got Tanaka set up for you, super flex! Super flex and that should be all. That should be all for Pat Tanaka. Cover. One, two, no, two count only Tanaka. Tanaka finds the back door. What resiliency by the Sensei Pat Tanaka. And now Hotbody continuing to work on Pat Tanaka. Playing in those elbows. And back in comes Kevin Sullivan. Sullivan now. It's a hammer. It's a timekeeper's hammer. And it's hammer time as Sullivan goes to work on the knees of Pat Tanaka. Oh, Sullivan, he's out of his mind. This man is nuts. Sullivan really smashing the face of Pat Tanaka. This is really hot tag team action. And tag team action will continue on this program because the public enemy will be here. And then from there, the ECW Heavyweight Championship on the line as Terry Funk defends against the Oh, what a headbutt! Pat Tanaka meets the skull of the Tasmaniac. But as I said, Terry Funk will meet the fiery franchise, Shane Douglas, in what should be a classic heavyweight championship matchup. As now Tanaka whips across the ring. He's out on his feet, and now he's out on his back as the Tasmaniac knocks the stuffing. He's fighting. The Tasmaniac is chopping into the forehead of Pat Tanaka. What a sicko he is. Reversal now, the Tasmaniac gets to the corner. Close line, that turns Pat Tanaka inside out. And speaking of inside out, I hear Paulie dangerously is beside himself. Cover one, two, he's beside himself that Shane Douglas is wrestling fun for the title rather than his man Sabu. And we're going to get Sabu's view of this matchup of Terry Funk versus Shane Douglas. And now Hotbody picks up Pat Tanaka. I don't understand this. And Sullivan now, oh, that should be all, that should be all, Sullivan's loving it. And again, oh, again, Pat Tanaka may be hurt, that'll crack that door. That, and now Sullivan refuses to pin Tanaka. What are these three doing? I don't understand this at all, it's now the Tasmaniac 
Picks up Pasanaka, headbutt. That's got to be the 12th headbutt Pasanaka suffered during this match. He's got to be seeing stars. And now he's seeing the foot of Johnny Hotbody up close. As Hotbody comes to the ring to continue his onslaught. Pasanaka can't stand Hotbody to get cover. Oh, look at this. What a scene this is. Woman trying to calm down Kevin Sullivan. Wait, crawl up from behind. Crawl up, yes. Two and three, yes. Pasanaka. Pasanaka able to get the pinfall. Johnny Hotbody looking to make a tag. These three are playing peekaboo on the outside. Hotbody distracted and pinned by Pasanaka. Everything solved in the Tasmania. Know what has gone on here? Do they know the match is over? Well, now, the exchange of words by the Tasmania. Wait, the Tasmanian can suplex hot body. The friendship is over. The teamwork has gone awry. And now Sullivan, what are they doing to hot body? It's their fault. They're playing peekaboo with woman on the outside. He's looking to make a tag. They're holding him. For who? Oh, they're trying to embarrass this guy and let woman work him over. This is horrible. It's ridiculous. Continuing to work over hot body. 